Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a mushroom cane and for that I use a quite a big piece of opaque white and a tiny bit of the caramel colored clay mixing that together to this um, light um, yellowish brownish color. I rolled the clay into a bowl and then I pressed that flat on my uh, work surface and I cut I think a third of it off and the top uh, two thirds I am using that for the top part of uh, the mushroom. Then I rolled the other part here and I am kind of shaping it into a uh, kind of teardrop shape so that it has some height on there just like the top of my mushroom and you can see it kind of looks like a mushroom. I am using some normal dark brown colored clay and I am trying to shape it into small triangular shapes that fits in underneath the hat of the mushroom. For some reason this was a bit tricky for me today but I did manage to get a little piece on each side of the mushroom here so I'm just popping it in there so it's kind of uh, filling out the void between the clays here. So I have this weird shape uh, and you won't be able to roll this like a normal cane so you will have to stretch that out by uh, pushing it together and kind of uh, pulling a tiny bit in it and it's kind of a big job to do these and sometimes um, I get them a bit wonky anyway. Uh, so this cane is actually quite tricky to make. I really try to keep the shape while stretching this cane and it take an awful lot of time and sometimes it just don't work for me and it didn't right here. So here I have the cane in the size that I like and I'm just cutting off a few pieces here and they don't really have the shape that I wanted. So cutting off a uh, piece of the cane and then shaping it is a good way to do it. You can also use the canes as they are. I cut mine here in pieces of, uh, I think that's six or five centimeters length. Uh, that depends on how long you like yours to be. And I'm just using my fingers and my soft pastel, um, placing some of the dark browns and the really dark browns on top of these canes, making them look a little more real when you cut them, but you really don't see it that much so you can skip this step if you don't like it or you don't have the soft pastels. This is just one way to do it. Um, so if you like to have a little more color on there at uh, the top of them you can do it this way. As always I only bake my canes 10 minutes because I have found that way if I uh, bake them anymore they can get really hard to cut or even crumbly so you don't want to give them more than 10 minutes and you can always give them more uh, when you are baking them together in a project with something else. I am here cutting slices of the one with the darker top side and you can see it's not that visible um, and when I cut my slices I am cutting off the little corners here uh, between the uh, dark brown and the white of the um, mushroom. That's a mushroom. And that makes them look a little more real and I think it's easier to do this after they have been baked than trying to shape them before you bake them. Remember to use a really sharp blade when you are cutting the canes. Here I'm cutting the one without the colors on top and you can't really see any difference between these. Again, I am cutting off this little triangular shape here at the bottom of the mushroom. This cane was a bit harder to do than the other canes that I make because you can't roll it. I hope you will try it out anyway. Thank you for watching and happy crafting. 